The news is a shock to many in the community, still reeling from the death of another police officer just seven months ago. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser has been talking with residents frustrated with the violence. Stephanie. Well, people out here say there, there's really a range of emotions. Emotions range from shock to disbelief and then anger. People out here are really upset that something like this could happen again. And now business owners are trying to show their support for law enforcement. They are putting up these thin blue lines on businesses all across this square to show that they are there for them and that they show their support for them. But this is something they thought they would never face once. And now they are putting these up for a second time. Now, Clinton is very small town USA. About 9,000 people live in this city here. And from talking to dozens of people throughout the day, they really can't believe that something like this would happen again. And if I've learned anything, it's that this community is small, it's close knit, and you're guaranteed to know somebody if something does happen here. Now, Officer Gary Michael was killed in the line of duty seven months ago to this day. People living here say they still haven't healed from uh, from that incident and now they have to face something like that again. Shock. Um, I didn't know what to think. I mean, we just went through this seven months ago and it's not something that happens in Clinton. It shouldn't happen again ever, but so soon is even more hard to comprehend. Uh, it's pretty sad. It's another tragedy for the town to get over, you know, probably over something stupid that it happened over. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty strong little town. They'll pull together. Now, you can see that flags here in the community are being flown at half staff right now. No one is really sure what to do, how to move forward from this and really how to make sure nothing like this happens again. Right now, really, most people are confused and are still really trying to process exactly how this happened. We're live in Clinton, Missouri. Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.